Hey, David here, and this is a first look at the brand new Gore-Wear Fabian Cancellara collection. Socks, shorts, and jersey. What do you think? First impression, get down in the comment section below and let me know, maybe give me a thumbs up if you think it looks really good, as I think it does. So let me give you a talk through, but first, a quick word on Fabian Cancellara, who probably needs no introduction, but in case you're wondering who he is, he's an absolute legend in the cycling world. He retired a few years ago, but when he was racing, he was an absolute monster, uh, dominating on the cobbles of races like Tour of Flanders and Paris-Roubaix, but also an absolute force against the clock in the time trial, and won medals across multiple disciplines at the Olympics, the World Championships, wore a yellow jersey as well in a Tour de France, so a really versatile, but really strong, uh, amazing rider to watch. Um, personally, I was always a fan of him. Great seeing him do battle on the cobbles of Paris-Roubaix against the likes of Tom Boonen and others, so absolutely um, yeah, legend. I've even had the pleasure to meet Fabian Cancellar a couple of times. Uh, the best occasion was in the 2013 Paris-Roubaix, the cobble race which he won. I was on a Trek bike launch and we were in the VIP area outside the velodrome. And after he won the race and been on the podium, got the big cobblestone that all winners of Paris-Roubaix get, he came staggering up the stairs to the VIP area where loads of journalists were waiting. And he just gave a really humble, down-to-earth speech. Um, he was clearly knackered, uh, but he still had time for us to do his duties as a Trek brand ambassador, which he was, he sponsored by Trek, uh, gave us a few words and then went off and probably got absolutely drunk uh, on a Sunday evening. So just a really inspiring, really humble, really down to earth guy, just absolute legend when he was racing. But as I mentioned, he retired a few years ago and as soon as he retired, Goreware got on the phone to him, said, hey Fabs, do you want to be a brand ambassador? And he said yes. And in 2018, Fabian Cancellara became a brand ambassador for Goreware. But more than just be a brand ambassador goes around saying how great Goreware is, Gore actually got him involved to tap into his expertise, his vast experience being a pro cyclist at the highest level, and also his level of attention that he put in to make sure he had the best equipment, the best setup when he was racing, uh, turning over every stone in that quest for the best performance possible. And it is the perfect partnership. On the one hand, you've got a pro rider with vast experience of racing at the highest level, the most demanding rider, he wanted his kit, his equipment to be absolutely perfect and really push his partners like Trek and other brands that he worked with to produce the best possible equipment to give him every advantage that he needed in those races he took part in. And then on the other hand, you've got Gore, a brand that for the last 30 years has been on a, a, a crusade basically to find the best technical fabrics, most famously with the Gore-Tex waterproof jackets. Uh, trying to find the ultimate solution to keeping us dry um, but breathable with lightweight packable solutions. So Gore, best known for waterproof jackets, but more recently they've been branching out, making shorts, jersey, socks, so you can dress head to toe in a full Gore outfit if you want. So Gore are renowned for making really high tech fabrics, but their style hasn't always been the best if we're being a little bit um, critical. But they have the technical know-how and now, clearly, they have the style to go head to toe with the likes of Assos and Rafa, um, Castelli as well, to name a few other high-end brands that do combine that technical expertise with style and uh, good looks as well. So it looks like Gore are on a bit of a winner at the moment as his new kit is definitely a demonstration of. So what we have here is a new Gore Wear Fabian Cancellara collection. There are two levels. There's C5, which is a more affordable, more accessible range. And then there's C7, what I'm wearing here, which is higher end, uh, no expense bed in the pursuit of the best performance. And Gore, in developing this brand new outfit, and especially the shorts, have heavily involved Fabian Cancellara in the development from the outset to make sure it's as good as it can be to meet the demands in this highly competitive clothing market. So let me run you through the details of the shorts, the jersey, and the socks. These bib shorts are a work of art. They are the company's latest design and revolve around a central torso architecture 
which is basically a fancy way of saying they've built the entire short around the padded insert. That to ensure the pad is in the right place at all times and doesn't move about. You've got a four way stretch material, a very soft feel between the fingers and very few seams throughout the short. And the pad uses thicker foam in the sit bone area and a thinner where it doesn't need to be. The shorts are designed for being in a hunched over aggressive road bike position so the pad is pre-shaped to improve comfort. And at the front to protect your bits from chilly air is a wind stopper cup. Yes, I kid you not, it's a cup lined with wind stopping material. The idea is basically to help in changeable conditions like in spring and autumn to stop you getting cold down below. The shorts are packed with details and it really shows their attention to getting every little aspect of the short absolutely spot on. There are small reflective logos, a small rear pocket, silicon gripper on the hems and all very nicely put together. They feel a very solid, well-made pair of shorts. The jersey is clearly a lightweight, race-focused jersey with a very close fit. It's all about aero and reducing bulk. It's made from their own fabric, very soft between the fingers, a lovely feel, designed for a temperature range of between 16 and 24 degrees. So definitely summer cycling, go to the Alps or somewhere warm, this is a jersey to pick. Like the bib shorts, the jersey is packed full of nice details. There are flat seam sleeves, a full length zipper with a zip garage, grip elastic at the waist hem for a snug fit, reflective details, a secure zip pocket on the rear for keys and valuables, and that's a really nice attention to detail and a sort of thing I like personally on a jersey. The collar is shaped at the back of the neck to improve the fit. They're stretched in all the key places so it doesn't provide a restrictive fit when you hunch over the handlebars. The fabric is very soft next to the skin, just a really nicely fitted, clearly well designed summer race weight jersey. And finally, what do we think of the colour and the design? Let me know in the comment section down below. The design, the pattern is said to celebrate Cancellara's incredible victories in races like Tour of Flanders and Paris-Roubaix and uses a heptagon pattern to mark the seven monuments he won during his illustrious career. So there we go, a first look at the brand new Gorewear Cancellara collection, socks, shorts and jersey. What do you think? Let me know down in the comment section below. And if you want a follow-up, more in-depth review on this, I can certainly do that, but let me know if you want that down in the comment section before I go and do that. I really just want to share this with you, give you a first look and get your opinion on it. And maybe if you're shopping for some new spring, summer, post-lockdown clothing, this might be something to consider. It certainly looks good, it feels good. And um, I like what Gore and Cancellara are doing here. So yeah, some good things to look forward to. But that's all for now. Thank you for watching. Make sure you hit that like button if you enjoy watching it and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, with all that said, uh, keep safe, keep pedaling and I'll see you again soon.